So now we'll be looking at the PEE development in the main part of our essay, and that was what was denoted earlier with this square. How does the inspector take control? Now your main part actually has to develop fully. You need to show one of two things. And the first area, you might want to chart something. Now chart is another way of saying follow. Okay, so for our example, we have to follow how he takes control. And this could include how other characters react to him, what things he does, etc. And basically, what elements of the play and stage directions show that he has taken control. So basically, we have to start at Act 1 and finish through to Act 3 in the case of this play. And we need to mention a couple of PEE points along the way. Now, each of these is going to involve a technique, or we can look at a technique called SLACT. And it's easy to remember. And it stands for the speech of the character is one of the things we could look at. The language of description is another area that we could look at. The actions is another thing we could look at. Character comments is another area we could look at. And the directions, as in the stage directions that I mentioned. All of these will give us things to talk about. And to show the examiner that we understand the entire craft of the writer, we want to talk about all of these. Now, for a play, it will include all five. But when you actually come to write about a novel or novella, you won't include the directions because the directions are actually in a novel. You'll focus more, again, on the language of description. So, for example, we can say at the beginning in his speech with the inspector, one of the things he does is he stands up to Berlin. Another thing that he does in the language of description, maybe, or from the, uh, from the uh, directions, it says he takes control. A little later on, in some of his actions, he withholds the picture from Gerald and also from Mr. Burling. Other character comments that might be about him is also, for example, when Sheila seems to think he is odd in that he knows too much. And so on and so on and so on. Now, these are your actual main points, but you have to write them into PEE. Now, we'll develop the PEE part later, but I just wanted to show you, first of all, that it has to be charted. It has to go all the way through. Now, the more detail that you put, the more marks you will get, because each one has a slightly different angle of awareness, or shows the examiner a slightly different angle of awareness. You'll be looking at these points again and again and again. I don't expect a good high-grade essay to have anything less than around 10 P, E, E points throughout. Now, you might join a couple of them, you might put a lot more, but basically, if you've put everything in there, especially if it's relevant, if you've put everything relevant in there, then there's very little for the examiner to take you down on if you've done the explanation part correctly. But regards to the points, you do want to make about 10 points to really show that you're confident in your knowledge of this area. In this case, the inspector taking control. The other way that you might be asked to write a PEE essay is analyzing something in particular. So obviously this was analyzing how the inspector takes control, but you were looking through it all the way through, literally in chronological order. So you can actually mention how it's different from Act 1, Act 3, how the characters change in their responses from Act 3 to Act 1, etc., etc., and make links that way. If you're asked about a theme, it's probably easier to analyze it throughout. So for example, if we take Of Mice and Men, we can look at the question about dreams. So let's make up a question, how important are dreams in Of Mice and Men? Now what I'll be actually be doing in this section is I'll be breaking it down slightly different. I won't literally go chronologically through, so I won't be going from Act 1 to Act 3. What I'll be doing is analyzing each character in particular. So obviously I'll talk first of all about George and Lenny, and I want to give a couple of points. Now whoever I feel I have the strongest points for, I'm going to start with. That's the key part. So if I think it's strongest in George and Lenny, that's who I'm going to talk about. It's obviously very important to Candy. So I might want to couple, uh, put a couple of points in about Candy as well. And of course Curly's wife is really, really, really important. Now. In each section, I still want to write a total amount of 10 PE points, but how I split them or how I determine where they're going to go is actually down to how strong I think the character's worth. So Crooks, for example, I might only put down one thing because there's only a very brief period where he actually has a dream that he's going to follow. The rest of the time, he's very aware of the social situation of the time and that he's not going to have dreams. Curly's wife has dreams, but they're dreams all in the past. Um, things that she was hoping to do, such as Hollywood and the fakery and the finery of that, that she was 
that she nearly succumbed to or she wanted to succumb to. Candy's very hopeful and obviously George and Lenny have the most overriding dreams. Now the range of characters that you're talking about is what's going to get you marks because you can see as well that Steinbeck wasn't putting it just through one character but he's breaking it all the way through loads of different characters. And again you'll refer back to Slack. When you're making these points you look at what the writer, what the actors actually, sorry, what the actual characters say, the language used to describe them, the actions that they take and also other character comments. So a good example for character comments with Curly's wife is when she talks about Curly, saying Curly isn't very nice, etc. A good example for actions is maybe when you're looking at Candy and when he's crying at the end and he starts shouting at Curly's wife's corpse. Okay, So the actual action of him breaking down there is really important and obviously the shooting of Lenny in actions would be really important as well. When it comes down to speech, a very obvious one in dreams is um, Lenny's cons assistance to talk about the rabbits etc. And there are your actual points for example that you could break down. <laughs>